Hey everyone, I'm getting closer with my new project. Thought I'd show you what I've got done so far. Uh, I've got the lights all done. At least the top lights anyway. Them are two 30 watt uh, flood LEDs. They're daylight bright. There's my new coast to coast. I've got it all hooked up. Um, what I've got is an inch and a half pipe with uh, one inch bulkheads. The middle one is an inch and a half all the way to the bulkhead. Um, the one that secondary you can't see very well here, but it's about halfway up in the pipe, uh, and it's just inch pipe. There's, it's not even really connected to the inch and a half. Uh, inside here is basically just a, a reservoir for inside. This is the air vent for the secondary, uh, so it'll get some air and be quiet, and if it if it stops up, it'll cause it to run a full siphon. Now the back. So I've put on a little, oh, about three inch clear pieces so I can see the flow from the back. And on the main flow, I did the same thing with the clear one inch PVC and I've got sealed caps so these don't draw air this will do a full siphon and this is just a cover cap here and that's the full inch and a half one that the reservoir feeds and what I did here was I put a um, union there and then I made a sweep with a piece of inch PVC and a heat gun. And then this is my control valve right here. My control gate valve to control the flow. And then rather than mess with this and get it out of adjustment, I just put on another stop. Um, of course, it's mounted here securely the thing and there's a union here so um, I used mostly threaded uh, fittings because I didn't want to put all this together and one of these days I want to do something different well I don't want to have to buy a whole bunch of new parts well I can unthread these fittings and all I'm really out is just a few pieces but the ma major fittings I can uh, use again uh, get back to this on the flow this is inch and the secondary is inch and it flows into an inch and a half well it's a T but it's wide kinda and uh, it'll take both of the flows to the tank now what this one is while I'm up here I'll get it this is the main overflow this one will only run if it's overflowing. And it's got sealed caps. They're just Teflon threaded caps on there. And of course, I've got a shut off on all of them. So, and then it unioned on and I mounted it. And it's just going to drop directly into the pump reservoir on the sump. And, uh, I should be able to hear it. I'm probably going to put a little piece of pipe on it, get it below the sump rim, but I want it to fall because I want to be able to hear it. So, but uh, kind of show you a little more. I'm getting a little long here, but uh, this thing on the end is probably what you're wondering about. This is my new project part of the system. I'll let you see that. 
And I was going to direct connect this, but I put a firm co fitting for a little, oh, because they're, they're not mounted together. But what I've got here is a reverse flow filter. If I can get the cap off one handed, which I probably won't be able to. Well, maybe I can. I moved it. But you can you can see. Now this pipe here is not glued in and it will be cut shorter. And uh, you can see the reverse flow. Boy, the fittings look dirty in the what I used was a two inch floor drain in the side of the thing. I tried a uni seal, but for this jug it was it wasn't a thick enough wall to really work right. And plus my three inch hole saw it was bent and it would cut like a three and an eighth inch hole and it was just too big. So but uh, this will untwist here. So I can use it for something else if I want to. And then of course the coupling back there, but I'll see if I can get, you can kind of see the flow there, how it's gonna fall in and then. And I'm gonna cut this pipe down to where the overflow is a little better. This pipe here is just a, a six inch um, SWR pipe and uh, I had a piece of three inch I cut off and I put on the sides as a lip so it wouldn't fall down and then I just got a six inch cap for it that I've got to make a handle for so I can take it off a little easier but see if I can get up here there's That'll be the reverse flow filter. And then of course you can see how it's going to drop into the sump tank. And that's not mounted right now. I'm going to have to redo it. I'll come around here. Sorry about that. Yeah, there you can see how it's... That's the overflow. I was going to try to go three inch, but changed my mind. Just stayed with two inch. So I've got two inch pipes flowing into inch and a half pipe, going through the reverse flow filter to, and then draining back into the tank and with the two inch. And it'll probably be a little lower right into my basket, so that I can cut down on the noise, but. I'm getting a little further. Hopefully I can get this done here for long, so. All right. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Big shout out to DIY Fish Keepers.